Hi, I'm Phyllis SouthernFrugal.com and we haven't seen you all in a while. We've been very, very busy. Um, I decided to go ahead and fill my freezer, y'all. I had emptied it and I wasn't going to refill it, but then I could not stand to pay retail prices for my fruits and vegetables. I just couldn't. So, ended up going to the farmer's market. We've got the garage all situated with potatoes and, and uh, onions and all kinds of stuff. So, anyway, I'll tell you all the prices in a minute, but we're going to have a smoothie right off the bat here. All right, I can't see my screen because we've got too much sun in here. Okay, so this morning we're going to have a tropical smoothie. And I'm going to start right out and put my bananas in. And by the way, i got to tell you about this. I went ahead and got um, a whole big box of bananas at the farmer's market. And they were those perfect yellow. Perfect. So the ones I'm using this morning are the last of the bananas that I bought at Walmart. So we uh, got those at the farmer's market and they, uh, at Walmart you can get the bananas or we could a week or so ago for 39 cents a pound. Now I ended up paying at the farmer's market wholesale 42 cents a pound. But I've got to tell you, there wasn't a bruise on a single one of them. They were perfectly yellow. So uh, that's the way I like to freeze them. Just perfectly yellow, no spots, no blemishes, nothing. And so we froze them. I always put those in the bottom of my freezer in that little basket that I have. And they work out really, really well. All right, so I've got my bananas in my... Uh, Vitamix. Let me turn this down. So again, this is going to be a tropical smoothie. Mangoes. Now these are um, frozen mangoes I got at Walmart. And they are expensive, but I'd rather go ahead and pay the price and get them to cut them up and all that. Here's the pineapple we got at the farmer's market. Now I use the, uh, that inner core also. They, that was previously frozen. Also, this is my oatmeal and cream of wheat. I've got where I just spoon it out in a big blob on a cookie sheet and freeze it that way. It's just a lot easier. That way I don't have to get it out of any ice trays. All right, and at Walmart I was able to get some organic kale. So I went ahead and bought it, ground it up, and froze it in ice trays. Almond, these are little almond patties that I ground up and froze like little cookies. That works out real well. And here are the oranges, and I'll tell you about those in a minute. But anyway, these are juice oranges, but I went ahead and they've got seeds in them, but I just went ahead and peeled them and I cut them in sections. Whoops, that way you can see if there are any additional seeds. Four dates, and this is a small carrot organic and the four dates and then I'm using one little slice of fresh ginger in there. Alright, so now we're going to add two cups of water and this is filtered water. And we're ready to grind this up. Alright, we'll be back in just a minute when I get this ground up. Okay, I forgot to add the yogurt. Mr. Bucky has decided that he likes yogurt in the smoothie just as well as peanut butter. So he bought this the other day and we've already used a whole bunch of it. But anyway, it does have a high vitamin uh, content. Now I'm just a little bit uh, lactose intolerant. Not bad, but a little bit. So uh, I have not been using this. Now uh, I have made my own yogurt in the past and if I can find that video I'll leave a link down below. One of the viewers uh, showed me how to make that and it worked out really well so I guess we're going to have to make it again. But anyway this is just uh, that Greek yogurt that's got the five type of bacteria in it which is really good for you and in one cup there are 20, there's 20 grams of protein so that's good. 
anyway. So we're going to go ahead and add it. And now I'm going to have to add more water because it's going to be really thick if I don't. Fill it all the way to the brim. Okay. I'm going to grind this again. We'll be right back. All right. We, I moved y'all over here so you could see better. We have got an absolute full pitcher this morning or full beaker of the smoothie. There's what it looks like. I was a little afraid it was going to absolutely run over the top, but it didn't. Now, so I'll go over the stuff I got at the farmer's market, the prices with you. And uh, I just could not handle paying full retail for stuff. I mean, I've been doing the farmer's market thing for so long now. Oh, like y'all couldn't see. Let me turn it down. I'm putting the overage in ice trays. So we'll have it again. And so we don't waste anything. All right, so we got two big glasses and two full trays this morning. Now I do freeze these, uh, this overage in the ice trays and then uh, once they're frozen, I transfer them to plastic bags. All right, that should work. All right. Whoops, I'm gonna give y'all a, give a taste, tell you what it tastes like. It's super creamy and it tastes like pineapple, y'all. There it is, it's got the kale in it too. And I do find that the organic kale is a little stronger tasting than just regular kale. Mm -hmm. It's very, very good. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. So at the farmer's market, and by the way, we got our flu shots. That's why I'm coughing. I ended up with a little bit of sore throat and uh, a little feverish. But now I think I'm immune to the flu, hopefully. All right, so today now we're going to Sam's Club and I'm going to get uh, some bulk coconut and uh, almonds and dates. Hopefully I can find the dates. And we're also going to go out to lunch at the Firehouse Sub because Mr. Bucky and I have been watching that advertisement on TV where they do the, the brisket and we have, we're going to have to go get one of those because me and Mr. Bucky both just love barbecued brisket. All right. So, I ended up getting uh, pineapple and bananas at the banana house. I ended up paying 42 cents a pound for the bananas, but they were perfect, y'all. I mean, I gladly paid that to get those beautiful bananas. All right, so I got uh, Fuji apples, and they actually look like pink lady apples to me, but it said Fuji, so I don't really know that much of a difference in them, so anyway. I ended up, uh, those were 50 cents a pound, and I got onions, a 25-pound bag, and that ended up being 60 cents a pound, and the oranges ended up being 26 cents each, 26 cents just for one orange, and they have a lot more than that in the store now. And the peppers, and this is the main reason I decided I'm going to the farmer's market, because I was in the grocery store and to one bell pepper was a dollar and 20 cents. There's no way I'm paying that, no way. So I ended up getting a great big box of the peppers. They were 50 cents each, which worked out great. And uh, also the red grade A number one potatoes, uh, I bought a, got a 50 pound bag and they worked out to be 32 cents a pound. And that doesn't even look right. I divided that out. Anyway, for a 50-pound bag was $16. Is that right? I don't know. Anyway, $16 for 50 pounds. And I ended up getting sweet potatoes. They were 45 cents a pound. And the tomatoes ended up being 55 cents a pound. And they were vine ripened from Georgia. Now, the last time I got tomatoes, a big bushel, I said, oh, I know some of these are going to go bad. We'll never eat this many uh, tomatoes. But we did, y'all. And, and of course, when we got down about three-fourths of the uh, bushel used up, 
I put the rest in the refrigerator. I know you're not supposed to do that, but that saved them. So we ended up eating them all. We didn't, didn't lose a single tomato. And plus it's cooler now, so things will keep better in the garage. All right, y'all, sorry I haven't been here for a while because I have uh, been filling my freezer. And also uh, I have been doing uh, cooking stuff to freeze. Hold on, let me get my list. Yeah, I made a list of stuff that I, while I was doing it, still got it. Two of the things I haven't done yet. So I ended up doing the peppers, I think, the stuffed peppers. I think I did the uh, a video on, my last video was that, I believe. And I ended up uh, going, stopping by the Asian market and I got some of the spring roll wrappers. So I ended up uh, doing uh, 25 uh, shrimp spring rolls, 25 chicken spring rolls, and 25 uh, firecracker sticks. I used the... Uh, uh, spring roll wrappers and I can tell y'all they're much better that way than they are in this thicker tortilla uh, wrapper and I made two pizzas big pizzas and cut them up and froze them and we had we've had pizza twice since I fixed those and I fixed a huge peanut butter pie because I found out that it freezes super super well so I ended up fixed it, uh, I think at that pan that I used is like 15 by 18, something like that. I, I doubled the recipe and that worked out really well. We are loving that. And I also made buttermilk pie. So, and the other thing I wanna do is I wanna do a little chocolate pound cake and a little lemon pound cake to freeze. And I've already done videos y'all on all that stuff, but uh, maybe I'll leave those links down below. And, uh, and for the pe I'll just leave a bunch of links down below because I've got like 980 some videos and it's like hard to find stuff because there's so many of them on there. But uh, I'll try to look up some of those links and leave them down below in the description. All right, y'all, we're going to go have our smoothies, have devotions, and then we're going to be off to Sam's Club, and then we're going to get a firehouse uh, sub. In fact, I might record there unless somebody says I can't. All right, we'll see y'all later. Bye for now.